twos, what's up? So this video, I wanna go over fasting and why um, it's been beneficial for me. So again, I lost 20 pounds in 90 days. People freaked out when I posted on Instagram, so I was like, oh my God, I guess it is kinda interesting. So then my brother suggested I make videos about it, talk about points of, of how I got to, to these conclusions and why and things like that. So I put together a quick little bullet point list of why I eat um, I stopped eating breakfast, so I only had like you know, two eggs and a cup of bacon or, or a protein shake. And I stopped doing it mainly because you save a lot of calories, but I've, I made points. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points. Eight quick points. I'll try to make these fast. So, it's hard to mess up if you don't eat as long as possible. So, if every single day, imagine you didn't eat until dinner and you could eat, you know, whatever, 1,500 uh, calories a day or 2,000 calories a day, whatever that number is. That means you can feast. You can feast when you get home from work, let's say, right? At 6 p.m., you can eat like, you can almost not eat enough because there's not enough time for like you to feel full. Of course, depending on what you eat. Like if you eat like water burger with the fries and the Dr. Pepper and the freaking ice cream and, and all that, yeah, you're gonna hit it. But if you eat clean food, clean enough food or mix in clean food with not clean food, you can't mess it up. It's very hard. So for me, what I did is I, I have a very light dinner, um, lunch, one cup of rice, two ounces of chicken, and a cup of broccoli. It's like 300 calories. So when I get home, I can eat up to 1,500 calories, assuming I don't mess up, right? Sometimes I have snacks during work. Sometimes um, I'll eat somewhere, like in case I didn't make lunch for whatever reason. Very rarely happens. Um, I used to have a shake or a small breakfast, but stopped because I stopped seeing progress. So you don't necessarily have to start that way, but once you get there, that's one thing you can do to, to help with that. Because then you're doing, you know, fasted cardio, fasted working out, if you work out in the mornings. Uh, so what I would do when I would eat breakfast, right, it was like a 250 cal shake. Um, I would do almond milk, banana, a protein scoop, and then another fruit. And most of the time it tasted good. Uh, another benefit of, of not having breakfast is time, right? So I would go to the gym, come back home, make eggs, make a shake. Now I don't have to do that. I just come home, get ready, go. Like, done. Super easy. Um, tip so that fasting is hard. I'm mean, not eating. So what you really want to do is um, do things that like kind of entertain you, right? So drink black coffee. That's like a suppressant for food or something like that. Drink tea, drink water, get the flavored water enhancers and just sip away, right? Um, cold water, uh, things like that. Uh, coffee. Even after lunch, I drink um, diet soda. It's probably like not right or not the best idea, but like I feel like it's a snack when I sip it. I sip it like for four hours. Um, so it works for me or I'll have coffee, one of those, or tea, but mo mainly after lunch I do coffee or, or black tea. Black tea was hard to get into at first because I would always have it flavored. Um, stopped doing that, now it's all good. Um, it's actually not bad. Um, so yeah, I get home, I have 1,500 calories left. I log everything, log everything, learn a couple, learn how to use my fitness pal. It'll freaking change the way you see things or, or how, do, how you approach things. Um, and then at some point, you just get it. Like, you, every, you know, they'll cater at, at, at work, they'll have food, people come in, they'll have free lunches, stuff like that, and you're just like, no, I'm used to not eating. Um, so yeah, those are the main points. Um, fasting, it's, it's such a good tool to use, so. That was that video.